Go. Hi, everybody. Erin, do we have anyone on? Not yet. Not yet. Well, okay. I, I, you guys are in for a treat today. This is I'm, my name is Shada, and we are going to be making one of my favorites when I was a kid. I don't know, Erin, do you remember ever going to Farrell's? Or you might be too young. You may not even know what Farrell's is. I went to Farrell's as an adult. We didn't have, okay. them, in, we didn't have them in Washington. At oh, least okay. not that I knew of. So <laughs> when I was little, my mom would take me to Farrell's because that was for my birthdays. And it was just a special treat. And I remember their ice creams were just absolutely delicious. And one of my favorite things that I used to get was banana split ice cream. So... You know, we are eating a whole food plant-based diet. We are SOS free, which is means we are salt, oil, and sugar free. We are no dairy, no meat, and you're probably going, oh my God, what the heck are we going to eat? But we eat plenty, <laughs> right? We do. Um, we eat a lot. <laughs> so today, I want to I want to show you guys um, this machine that I got to make um, the ice cream, which if you have a Vitamix, you certainly can make it in there. If you've got a food processor, you certainly can make it in there. You don't have to make it in this machine, but I get a new gadget, I get a new toy, and I just want to share it with you guys. So this is called the Yonana Elite. And it's better than the one I got one time, a couple of years ago, I got one at Costco. And Erin, I don't know if you were at, at our meetup, when I, I was. bought my Yonana machine <laughs> and I burned it up. Do you remember yep, that? I remember. Right. Because all of a sudden smoke started coming out of it. It was like, what crazy. is going on? Exactly. Yeah. So I got this one from um, Amazon and I think it was probably around like $130. But it is really, really good. And it's um, very powerful. So today what I wanted to show you guys, and I think this is fun for those of you that have children because your children are gonna be really into this. So we are going to make banana split ice cream today. And we've got, I don't know if you, if you wanna come up and we're gonna show them. We have different toppings for you guys. We have fresh blueberries, we have um, unsweetened coconut, we have a little bit of walnuts, we have a little bit of uh, cacao nibs. And I don't know, for those of you guys that are following me, this is California balsamics. They also make pear balsamic, Oh, wait till you guys try this chocolate orange balsamic vinegar, which you can drizzle this on the on the uh, banana split. You can drizzle any of these. Strawberry balsamic, and here we have the peach white balsamic. Um, besides all that, they have a whole array of other types of balsamics that are absolutely delicious. Now, if you go to California Balsamics, um, they are online. They do not have um, a store location. But if you go online and if you order, they have, as you're checking out, they have a leave a comment box in the checkout. And if you put my name in there, Shada, and give them two flavors that you guys want to try. And these are the sample sizes that they send you guys, which is really pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. it's a good size. And you guys, you can travel with this. And nobody's going to, you could take it to restaurants with you. You could take it everywhere. So then you could put in your two sample sizes that you want. And Thomas will be really happy to send it to you. They're a great husband and wife team, and they, when, whenever you call, you know, Thomas is great. He answers his phone. You guys have any questions? Um, he's, have you tried any of his balsamics? Yes. Which so one? I really like the, the dill one. Oh, the dill is really the good. The dill is really good. But I've tried the sweet pea, ra what's the raspberry one? The raspberry flame. Oh, yeah. it's my favorite. Yeah. Um, sweet pea. And garlic, the Gilroy garlic. And so I tried a few of them. Teriyaki I've tried too. Good. Yeah, that one's good. They're really good. And if you good come addition. to my class, my, my upcoming cooking class here on July on Sunday, July 28th, um, Thomas has been gracious enough to send me some samples for you guys. So, you know, hopefully you guys will sign up. We still have a few spaces left. And um, it is Sunday, July 28th from uh, 1030 to 1. It's going to be Latin comfort foods and, uh, and some great food. So I think, should we get started on the... Yeah. Uh, oh, so let me show you. Let, let's show them this. Some of the ice cream I've already got, gone ahead and did ahead of time only because this makes um, a bit of a noise and I didn't want you guys sitting through all that noise. So these are the blends. This is from Costco that I get. It's uh, called Daybreak Blend and it's got peaches, mango, strawberries, and pineapple. Then I always have frozen bananas in the refrigerator. I have organic mango chunks that I got at Costco. And the next thing we're gonna do right now is the dark cherries, so. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> okay, so plug up your ears, because I don't know if, or unless you know how to turn it, the volume down or up. I don't know. 
I do not know. So, so excuse me while I have my back <laughs> for you guys. I don't mean to. So Tammy says hi. Hi, Tammy June. Claire says hello. And Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> and she says, we eat a lot. Hi, ladies. Hi, Nikki, I, I look forward to seeing you at JP in ice class. Sherry says hi. Okay, here's some noise, guys. Right. I'm sorry. So we had done a little bit of mango in there, so that's why you see the little difference in color. You want to show them that? Yeah. But look how smooth it comes out. The cherry is really good. I love the cherries. CJ says, I haven't tried any of the sweet balsamic flavors. They sound delicious. I love the sweet heat. Sherry says, Simply Lemon is divine on veggies. Wanda says, Dark cherries are my favorite. And Sandra Cox says, Hello. So let's see how much we got here. So see how much that makes. And look, there's so still frozen, frozen cherries inside. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. So, Aaron, if you... Oh, let me... I'm going to have Aaron hold on. I'm going to get the other ice cream. So I'll show you here. Made. Look at that. It's just like ice cream. You want me to show them those ones? Those yes, flavors? absolutely. So we've got banana here. Right? Yep, mango. banana, mango, the mix. And the mix. And then we've got all those. The cherry. So. so Sandra said she has one of the ice cream makers in her garage. She just has to open it now. Uh, Sandra, I think you should. Hello. <laughs> okay. Mix lemon with Gilroy Gallark. It is amazing. Nice comment, Nikki. We'll have to try that. Oh, so here's the banana. <laughs> so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to do the mango. Now you want your um, frozen fruits to defrost a little bit because if you don't, then it's going to be um, it's going to it's going to be too hard. And then we'll put the banana in the middle. Now doesn't this look like the ice cream? The banana splits that well. Okay, so maybe maybe they did a better job than I did with the bananas, but looks good. Sometimes the bananas, the, the ice cream gets stuck in there, so we have to get it out. So Wanda says, Shada, when I was raising my children, they didn't eat dairy. But after they would win a softball game, the team went to the local dairy oh, queen. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I would boy. run home, get some pre-made nice cream from the freezer, take it back door, or take it to the back door of the Dairy Queen, and the owner would serve it to my child when they came to the window for their turn. Oh, that's, that's a great idea. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of walnuts on here. Again, you guys don't have to do any of this. Um, it's completely up to you. We'll put a little bit of the unsweetened shredded coconut. Very pretty. And then we're going to take a little bit of the cacao nibs. And put that on top. Should we drizzle a little bit of the ch chocolate orange? Yeah. Aaron's like, okay. yeah. She okay, now, with these me. vinegars, you guys, you're going to have to shake it. Just make sure you do that. So we're just going to drizzle a little bit. Nice. And that's it. I'm sure your kids <laughs> would absolutely love it. And it's a great way to get your children involved in making these. So pretty. Right? So that's one. So we'll put that off to the side. Now, if you don't have those glasses, because I only have like one of those, so what we could do is we could do half. So we're going to take our bananas. Tammy, is Tammy still online? I think so, yeah. 
Tammy, I think you and your granddaughter would have fun making these. Have you seen mm -hmm. her grandchildren? Oh my god, they are absolutely <laughs> adorable. They're the twins, right? The twins and her older one. So we could put that in here. See. Actually, I think it'll be easier to... Okay. So this one, we could do little samples of each. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a mini scoop. <laughs> got a mini scoop, exactly. That's cute. Shada has the best gadgets. <laughs> I try. I love, I love kitchen gadgets, and I love sharing it with you guys, you know, whatever I find. So that way, if everybody gets a little bit. See, look, you can put bananas in there. Erin, what should we put in this one? Hmm. Did you, put, you didn't put blueberries on the other one, did you? No, we can put blueberries on this one. Make this one fruity. So that's that. Nice. Healthy desserts that we can all enjoy and the kids can enjoy and it's guilt free. Well, kind mm -hmm. of guilt free unless, you know, with the walnuts and everything else. But yeah, that's really about it. I wanted to share that with you guys. I love this machine. I love the amount of my ice cream or nice cream that it makes. Mm -hmm. It's healthy for us. We're not hurting ourselves with it. And it's absolutely delicious. And you could do any kind of configuration that you want. It's completely your choice. So CJ said no, so no bananas needed with that machine. That looks creamy and wonderful. Yeah, you don't have to. If you want to put bananas in there, just like to mix a banana and a strawberry or mix a banana with a mango, you can. But you don't have to. Like the cherry, we put absolutely no bananas through there. And the mango, the same thing. Nice. Anything else? I said frozen apricots would be wonderful too. Oh, yeah. And you could put pear whipped cream on it too. In yeah, fact, my mom said, why don't we do a pear whipped cream? Because this needs a whipped cream. And, I, <laughs> and I'm like, I see, the, here, so here's the thing. Back then, I was never a whipped cream fan. I oh, have, okay. I have never liked custard, whipped cream, anything that was like, <laughs> that wasn't my thing. Yeah. So that's why when she said, hey, how about some whipped cream? I'm like, no, nah, we could do without it. Froze. Froze. Maybe on the playback it'll be. Maybe on the playback yeah. it should be okay, yeah. So, wow, how gorgeous and delicious. Tammy Kramer says, yes, we do. There you go, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just want, it's hot outside and we need something cool. So why not do a banana split ice cream with your children, grandchildren, or for yourself? Yeah. And if nobody has any other questions, I mean, or comments. Uh, Nikki said, can you add plant milk? You could, but I wouldn't add the plant milk to this machine. This machine doesn't need it. Now, if you're making it in the Vitamix, yeah, you put a little bit of plant milk just to get that machine going. But with this machine, you don't you don't need it. And Grace wants to know: Is the chocolate orange balsamic on plan? SOS free. Yeah, there's nothing there's nothing in here. But let me tell you something: If you guys are triggered with chocolate, I would not recommend this because. Mm -hmm. I remember I was with AJ and we went to this balsamic store and they had a, a chocolate something and I can't remember what it was. And I tried it and I'm like, oh my God, I want it. Well, we kept walking around in the store and all my brain could <laughs> think about was having a chocolate bar or something chocolatey. And I turned around to the lady and I said, please, I don't want it. I'm not taking it home. This one doesn't do that to me, but you have to know yourself and to make sure that this chocolate flavor yeah, you can use it, but it doesn't trigger you to go on a chocolate binge. So that's something you, you're going to have to decide for yourself. Okay, and somebody said they missed the beginning, but can you tell them what the machine's called again? Oh, this is called the uh, Yonana Elite. Elite. And it comes in I think black does it or... say it right? There, it's a Yonana. Yonana. Yeah. Not your mama, Yonana. <laughs> <laughs> The Yonana Elite. And you got it on Amazon? I got it on Amazon. Okay. I think it was like 130 bucks or something like that. But oh. honestly, since I, you know, at first we were like, we're not going to use it. But then since we've gotten it, we almost use it every day. So mm. Especially in this hot weather. Especially in this hot <laughs> weather. Exactly. All right. Anybody else have any questions? All right. That's it. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back in a couple of weeks. Hopefully... This heat wave has died down and uh, we won't be melting back here, but it's been a pleasure and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you again. Bye. Bye.